Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So for today I thought we would start on the renovations. So I thought we would start with the library in Willow Creek, um, which is uh, this lot. Um, yeah, there's just, <laughs> I personally think there's a lot wrong with this. Um, why is it so pointy? <laughs> I don't understand. Why is this not centered? Like, it really bugs me that these stairs are not centered, and like this thing is not is centered with the stairs, but the stairs aren't centered with the rest of the building. And it's just, it really bugs me. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like the fact that this porch, it leads to nothing. It, it leads to nothing. Like, maybe just you could have a door there, you know, and you can just come into the library through the back, but whatever. <laughs> I, I, how do you get to this? <laughs> Shouldn't there be, like, a way to get in from the library? Shouldn't it be private to the library? Anyway, I think there's a lot wrong with the outside. Like, why does it come out so much? Uh, I, don't, I don't get it. Uh, and then on the inside, it's just... I think that the bathrooms are very big. Like, the bin is just in the middle of the bathroom. Like, why is it not tucked in on the corners or next to the toilet or something? Um, and then here, why, why, why are there books on the floor? <laughs> why are there only three chairs? Like, did someone steal the other one or something? Like... I don't know. And then there's this, like, little kid's playroom, which I'm not mad about. I think it looks quite nice. Um, and then upstairs is just... There's not much happening in this library. And, and the stairs are not centered again. Why? Why? I, I hate this. I hate all of this. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're just going to be renovating this building. Um, yeah. Let's just jump in. So the first thing we did was um, recenter everything. We played around with we played a bit. We played around with the roof for a bit, but then I just ended up deleting the whole thing and just keeping it flat. And um, just so it matches the the ones um, on the buildings next to it. Um, yeah. So fidgeting around with the roof. It kept putting my, my roofs on, like, a fourth floor for some reason. Um, and it just wasn't worth trying to make it work, because it didn't work with the rest of the environment. So I just deleted it. Um, no. Now we're working on the back garden. I expanded it. Back garden. The, the back end of the library. Um, I do end up deleting the fence. I just I didn't like how it looked. I mean, it's a library, you know. I don't like how it looked, so I deleted the fence. And then I'm adding a little back door to the, the outside area. Um, I do do a three tile, and then I think I ended up going for a four tile uh, space. just think it looked better. And then I was trying to figure out if I wanted grass. Or uh, concrete. I ended up going for a thing that matched the pavement next to it, to the right, um, just to keep it consistent. And then adding some skill building items on the outside, so just a couple of chest tables. And uh, I think I added a couple easels as well. Um, but we'll do a tour at the end, uh, I can show you. Um, and then deciding on a foundation. I think I just ended up going for a black brick foundation, um, and then making the, the porch kind of area wrap around the whole building instead of just one side. I just personally think it looks a bit better, it looks more symmetrical, um, so yeah, that's just me fidgeting around with the, uh, the room sizes. I thought the toilets were too big anyway, so I just, I was gonna shrink them anyway, so it kind of worked out well. Uh, I didn't put stairs to the 
outside, I don't believe. Just the only stairs that lead outside is through that door. Um, I try to make this one work with four, but I'm pretty sure it didn't and I had to change it. Um, there was one tile too short. And then uh, decorating the outside uh, with a couple chess tables, making everything black and white. And just felt like just felt like it looked nicer than white and blue. Um, and yeah, um, putting some white wood flooring on the outside there just to make it a bit more bright outside. Um, and yeah, I think. I do end up deleting the balcony. Yeah. I made the back squared and kept the front round. Just didn't think it, it, the the back needed to be squared. Sorry, I didn't think it needed to be round. I think it looks a bit. It looks better squared. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing now. Um. Making sure the fences match and the doors. Um, and yeah, I'm just working on the windows. Um, I don't know if I. I wasn't convinced on these windows when I built it, but I think they look nice without door. And um, all the, w the different shades of black match, which is impressive for the Sims 4. <laughs> Um, yeah, just adding all the, the windows around the place, trying to brighten up the inside as well. So this is when I realized that there is a square, like, the, the, the sizes, the sides don't match. Um, yeah. So now working again on the outside. I'm really focused on the outside. Um, just keeping that seating area. Um, I wanted to, to get a coffee table or something in between those two seats, but I just I didn't like the look of any of them, so I just ended up going, I just ended up squishing the two benches together and just getting some more bushes, um, just, just getting some more bushes around them to fill it up a bit more. Um, yeah, I think I think that little seating seating area looks quite nice. So added a couple of different flowers to make it look better. And now just jumping on the inside, um I added a little reading room I suppose. Um just to separate it from, from the communal area. Um so I just tried to, to put a bunch of bookshelves in there, make it as cozy as possible very bright, very white and bright and cozy. Um, yeah, I quite like it. I ended up not filming the kids' room, but you can see a little bit. I just didn't think it... I, I left it pretty much the same. I just added a different flooring and some uh, a different um, wallpaper. And then on this communal area, I'm adding a bunch of computers. Um, I think we ended up with six in the end, and then a couple of extra um, tables, desks, uh, with nothing on them, so you can like do your homework or sit and chill, read a book. Um, I think it looks quite nice. I ended up adding a reading nook where those desks are at the moment. I didn't, I didn't like the look of the, the, just those two tables just being separate from everything else. So I added a little uh, reading nook. Um, yeah. So I didn't like. I don't particularly like how that bookshelf kind of goes past the railing. That was kind of like the only choice, like base game choice that I liked. And then fitting a rug there was, was tricky because I wanted to use that blue one. That was quite nice. 
And then I just ended up swapping them around. And I think it looks it looks a lot better. And then I wanted to add something in the middle, as to lead to leading towards the stairs. But I just added those those empty desks, and I think it filled up the space pretty well. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna make it feel like it was too full, but I also didn't want it to be too empty. So I think that was a good balance. I don't. I ended up not adding anything to the patio outside. Um, I just didn't think he needed it. Um, I mean, you can put a couple of seats outside if you want to read outside. But yeah, so up here I just decided to go for a bunch of skill building items. So some. Um, chest tables, um, some easels, and a piano. I know it doesn't make much sense, but you know, it's a Sims, so a piano is fine. <laughs> so here is the final product. I I really like it. Um, I think it looks very nice. <laughs> I think it matches with the, the rest of the world um, better than than the other one did. Um, so this is the outside, a couple of easels, some tables, some chess tables. Um, so then if we go on the inside, um, we've got the little computers on the left, we got some empty desks, homework, reading, and the toilets, uh, we just left it with a couple. And then this reading nook, still on the communal space, if you will, but it's still, it's still like a little reading corner. And then this is the reading room, a couple of, well, a few bookshelves, seating area. And then this is a kid's room. Like I said, nothing much. I kept it pretty much the same. Just changed the wallpaper to this polka dotted one. I didn't want to make it too bright, but... I didn't want to make it just with this wallpaper um, on the rest of the floor. So yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, just a pretty standard kid's room, to be honest. Kid's playroom. And then upstairs, um, just a piano there. Um, easels, some paintings. Um, some chess tables. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole build. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this little renovation. Um, I will renovate all of the, the builds in Willow Creek, so if you guys want to see more of the renovations, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please give it a like down below. And yes, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.